multiplayer. I am your host for better or for worse, Guillermo Dorado, and with me today is a man with the main Zach Matz Gannis. What up? And Javier Ortiz. Yo, he does not need any epithets. No, I don't. That's just his personality. I am the man. <laughs> Self proclaimed type. There it That's is. That's it. Just, just, just real nice swan about it. Like, I am, am the, the man. man. I am I the guess man. I can't argue that fact. There we go. <laughs> Welcome everybody, guys. Uh, it's good to have you back. It's a whole nother week, and we got new things to talk about. But before we do, if you're watching this on YouTube, I want to remind you that this is also a podcast. Uh, you can find it on Google Play and iTunes. If you need to get up and go, you can get up and went with us. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you listen to us on podcast, you can also watch our dumb faces talk about awesome games on YouTube at youtube.com slash multiplayered. Also, we have a Patreon page. So, uh, I know, go. right? Go what? check that out because we got extra content there for our patrons who just subscribe with a dollar donation a month. Yeah. But if not, you can always come back and check out our free content on YouTube and our podcast. So, without further ado, <laughs> let's talk about video games. All right. <laughs> let's do it. So, guys, uh, I want to kind of go off the steam from our last episode. We talked about Doom and Wolfenstein 2 coming onto the Switch. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, apparently, this past week, people have gotten their hands on Doom on the Switch, and it's uh, looking pretty goddamn sexy, mm, really. Yeah. People are playing it now. Oh, cats almost falling off shelves. Uh, <laughs> yeah. People are playing it now, and they're actually recording and giving their kind of like first impressions and their thoughts and reviews, and it's running pretty smoothly. Uh, a lot of people were speculating whether or not Doom, like Bethesda, or like Nintendo was going to make Bethesda like remove some more graphic content, more gore. But uh, I don't think so. This it's not. There, it's all there. Yeah. It's bloody splendor with its hell spawn shooting and blowing up and raining meat upon yeah. your enemies. Yeah. No, I don't there. know why anybody would think Nintendo would do that because Nintendo really hasn't done that since like the Super Nintendo days. Yeah. I mean, it's, you look but, at you know, the, it's Doom. Like it just doesn't seem like a Nintendo game. Yeah, but know? I mean. I mean, think about like the, the GameCube. We had Resident Evil 4 first. We had Killer 7 first. Yeah. And then you think about the Wii. We had. Uh, Wasn't there a zombie yeah. game on the Wii? Like that weird. Uh, House of the Dead 2? No. <laughs> two and 3? Well, I, With I the was Wii thinking Zappa. like Manhunt 2. Manhunt 2 was And yeah, you had. Uh, uh, oh gosh, what was the self shaded black and white game? Uh, Mad World. Mad World. Yeah. And mm -hmm. So it's like there's been violent games on those systems. I don't know. It's just they've been pushing like this like really family friendly. It just seems more. Well, I guess it was the Wii U. Like there wasn't anything like uh, like that on the Wii U, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and they were also pushing like really hard towards kids. But now with the Switch, their promotional stuff is kind of leaning towards like young adults and stuff. So maybe maybe that I guess that makes sense. But it's still kind of jarring, you know. Like I uh, wouldn't expect it. I mean, it's, it's pretty video, awesome that we have it now. It's a video yeah. game system. There's a balance. You know, it's going to have adult yeah. themed games, and even if there are kid games, they're just really good games that are you know anyone can play. Yeah, this is not, true. This Nintendo. Is true. I mean, Nintendo always kind of steered towards the more family friendly, like E to T ratings. Mm -hmm. But it's like they've always welcomed M rated games on their systems for the yeah, most part. Anyway, that's true. Like I said, like NES, SNES eras were a little different. Mm -hmm. They they were trying to stay clear some of that, like the. Uh, Mortal Kombat, you know, no blood yeah, kind of thing. Right. We did green blood, right? Or like sweat. Yeah. It was or like whatever. sweat, like brown. It was like it was oh. really weird. Oh I'd rather see blood. Yeah. <laughs> I'm appalled. I can't believe I'm gonna throw up. sweaty people. <laughs> <laughs> well, the game is running really well. Um, it's the the developers over at ID and the publishers Bethesda are not confirming that it, you know what its resolution actual frame rate will be. Um, because it's kind of like adding insult to injury. We already know it's not going to run as smoothly like, as a, a PC with like the maxed out so, yeah, so that sure. on a console. Like PS4 and Xbox One can't do that either. It's like a maxed out PC you can't compete well, with. Well, right, but like it even is going to run a little bit lower than a PS4 and Xbox. Yeah. And the thing is, too, with that game specifically, because it is so focused on the fast paced like movement and everything, yeah. that, you know, when it starts to dip into, uh, you know, less than 60 frames, it kind of hinders the gameplay a little bit. But. Apparently, it's running um, about 30 frames per second consistently, and it's you know uh, the resolution you know is about 720, just like what it's supposed to be on the right, right. on the on the Switch. Um, the only thing that people are saying is a little bit of a, a hindrance on the gameplay is the Joy Cons themselves. Like so, when you do take it into portable mode, it does feel a little bit. There's a learning curve at least. Yeah. Um, it feels a little awkward. That's why Bethesda, when they actually had their booth, um, I believe it was at Tokyo Game Show, they were just had a bunch of switches, but with the um, Pro, Pro controllers. Yeah. yeah. They As were a, highly I mean, recommending people yeah. play with Pro controllers. So I guess so. that's the way to play that kind of game. It so, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It's you know it's it's almost like a Switch base, mm -hmm. or a Switch a Twitch base like. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, FPS game. Yeah, right. I mean, that's a good way to play any game on the Switch. Because that Pro Controller yeah. is nice. Yeah, but you know, it's, it is, it's, it's a really portable nice. goddamn system, so like, it is, at yeah. least it's not super uncomfortable, but you know, with the drop rate and frame, or the drop in frame rate, and with the, you know, playing it in a handheld mode with the Joy-Cons, it sure. does have a bit of like a, a latency to it, you know, yeah. but... But it's, it's getting a lot of really good reviews. People are, are really impressed with it, and uh, it looks beautiful. I saw like about eight minutes of gameplay on the damn thing, and it nice. looks just fucking immaculate. So yeah. excited about that. Yeah, I would imagine, like, because, you know, there's there's tons of, like, moments in that game where there's hordes of enemies. And, so like, many. yeah, if that happens, you, like, you run into the issue of, like, possible lagging and mm-hmm. frame rate uh, drops. So if that doesn't happen and it just consistently runs at 30, then that's perfectly fine. Right, like, which yeah. I'm expecting it to happen on this system because, like, it happened with my PS4. I don't have a PS4 Pro, but there was, like, when there was Lag a lot times. on the screen. Yeah, yeah. It, it did get a little bit choppy. It's natural. Right, exactly. But it wasn't anything that, like was consistent enough to be a huge problem. It happened sure. every now and then, like, when you killed, like, chainsaw someone, all the ammo and, like, yeah. everything spills out of their body, and you're... Tr- it's all coming <laughs> Bathing in, in its <laughs> blood. <laughs> yeah. and it's, you're ripping open heads and drinking. You know, it. Nintendo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my, that's my point, exactly. <laughs> it's funny, though, because uh, the director of Evil Within 2, which is also a Bethesda game, mm-hmm. uh, his name is Shinji Mikami. He also was the director of um, multiple iterations of the Resident Evil franchise, He's also expressing interest in wanting to port over The Evil Within 2 to the Switch. Yeah. Uh, he went on record with an interview at, with GameSpot saying, I think a Switch version would be interesting, and I would like to try to see if I, had, uh, if I had the chance to do so. So he's, you know, people, third-party developers are really expressing a lot of love and uh, desire to bring their games into a portal fashion, especially on the Switch. Sure. And it's it's looking it's boding really well because that was like the biggest thing when the switch came out. Like our third party developers going to want to be uh, be a part of the system, considering how terribly the Wii U sold and how poorly that yeah. whole thing went. Of course. So yeah. Well, the switch is good. yeah. I mean, the switch is selling really well right now. Everybody seems to want one, so it's like third parties are finally starting to kind of see that and want to sort of jump on board. And you know, the the nice thing with the switch this time around is the infrastructure is it's a lot easier to port a game over versus mm-hmm. like the Wii U is mm-hmm. like a huge hassle. Plus you also had the, the game pad that you also had to like add features to in some yeah. fashion. Was that uh, so. why the port was difficult or were there other aspects besides oh, there, yeah, the game Yeah, there, there was more than that. Too, really? Just, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like the the actual infrastructure of, I don't know anything about programming. I can tell. <laughs> <But it's> like, <laughs> I actually took classes in it, but I hate it. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. Okay. I don't like recommend it for anybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it was the worst. I had, pro- I had to program Frogger, one to kill myself. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. But, uh, so the, yeah, I mean, just the actual infrastructure for trying to port a game to it, it was just, it was more hassle than it was worth. Yeah, um, especially but it's, considering it didn't sell very well, so there wasn't much reward exactly, anyways. Exactly, uh, right. so it's, uh, but this time around, Nintendo's made it a lot easier for people to bring a game over, so it's it's now, uh, you know, it's it's a lot less of a burden on a, on a third party to bring a game over, uh, plus there's more of an install base there, or at least it will be, it's like right now, obviously, there's less switches than we use out in the world, but you right. Know, and it's, Nintendo's but it's going like on record saying that they gave too, like there was uh, too much pr- uh, in production on the day one of the Switch release, which everyone's like, no, there wasn't, because I still don't have one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why are you fucking spitting in my face, Nintendo? Because like, it's just, <laughs> you know, Nintendo's always, uh, you know, they're very cautious for the most part, except for the Wii U. They yeah, but they're not play. even addressing the problem. They're just like, no, we did fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you we all did. have a Switch, right? It's like, no, we don't. <laughs> we gave you more than you actually want is like, yeah, no yeah. want more please so your point Michael, there's blood in the streets because only one of them has a switch <laughs> what are you doing it's the consistent problem we always run into nintendo you say it all the time it's like they don't want our money yeah, like, yeah. They, just, they just they just don't money. they don't want to have it uh, but they're killing it though and like with especially with all these third-party developers wanting to get onto the switch it's boating really well yeah and a lot of gamers respond to it like they want to be able to play skyrim like on a plane or yeah. whatever because like that was a big thing when the, the the Switch trailer and I promise we'll talk about something other than Nintendo in a minute. But <laughs> but uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to stay here and fucking force feed it. But uh, when the trailer launched, people were like, "On a plane!" I was like, "That sounds awesome! Like that's yeah. awesome!" You know, like I definitely want to do that. Like I didn't realize that, that was something I wanted to do until I saw someone playing Zelda or Skyrim, like Absolutely. you know, traveling around and whatnot. Yeah, the nice thing is just having the option. Yeah. It's like I'm not really a handheld gamer. It's like I own every Nintendo handheld and every Sega handheld. But I don't uh, like them. But it's like I just, <laughs> I only, I, I don't know. I would just much rather play on my TV. But it's right. like if I have the a- option, like if I go out of town, I'm on a plane or something, 
you know, that's when I'm bringing my 3DS and all that. But it's sure. like if I could of just course. bring my Switch this time and, and play some, some dope games, and dude, I'm down for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if I can, like, pack my, my little toaster cradle in there, too, where I can get to wherever what? I need to... Yeah, you know, the little toaster. You can put your oh your oh in. the the <laughs> dock for the dock. Dock. That's what it's called. Is that what you're? I, <laughs> I like I it. Just, I just like call it the toaster because yeah. it's just. Well, I guess it makes sense now. Every time you pop it out, you go ding. I'm like, what's he doing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, no, I agree. And you know, like another, a couple other things are happening with the Switch too. Like, so we have the director of Resident Evil franchise who's expressing some uh, some desire to port some games over. Mm-hmm. We also have De- um, Play Dead's game uh, indie game Inside is now being or coming over to the Switch as well, along with a whole slew other indie games and uh there was one other one that i don't remember oh it was it was, it was, it was <laughs> well that, that game yeah <laughs> love that game. No, uh mario plus rabbits which was a de- um developed yeah. by a third party uh team Oop. which is ubisoft ubisoft, ubisoft, ubisoft yeah. whatever I, first of all ubisoft 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 ubisoft, ubisoft. Oh, fuck that. no i it's don't like, i don't be soft uh, God, Idaho, you the hoe. But uh, <laughs> get it? <laughs> no, but um, but like th- their their game, their iteration, Mario Plus Rabbids, is killing it. Like yeah. it's yeah. The, it's the highest sold third party game on the Switch as of right now. So like all of people's speculation and worries about third party games not really doing so hot on the Switch, or worried that they might not go for it, it it's happening. So mm-hmm. like I think the future for Nintendo. Uh, for the Switch specifically, is really bright, and we yeah. might be getting some really awesome games in the future if, it, if it, things it, keep going the way they have. Yeah. And it looks like it gets, you know, when when the f- f- Switch was first announced, and up until even a few months ago, people were like, "Oh, it's not going to be able to handle like current gen, you know, games that are coming out from AAA developers. It's right. like it's not going to handle the Wolfenstein 2s. It's not going to handle. Oh, but it <laughs> oh, <guess> what? <laughs> but it but it's like, uh, but it's like we just got uh, NBA. 2K, uh, 2K mm-hmm. 17, 18, 18, 18 whatever 18, year 18. we're in. <laughs> it's the uh, next one. Yeah, actually. It's yeah, next 18. Years. And apparently the port uh, is pretty good. Like yeah. obviously the the graphics took a little bit of a hit, and it runs at 30 versus 60 frames. Mm-hmm. But it's like, ha- you know, if you are somebody that just owns a Switch but loves basketball games, it's like you have one that's there and it has uh, all the you know all the bells and whistles of the you know PS4 Xbox one version but now it's also a portable yeah. version as well yeah. so it's like and it's the yeah. same thing with FIFA as well like yeah, FIFA is doing real well yeah exactly so i mean you know it's when you have like cuz the sports titles are kind of a separate beast on their own sure, but yeah. when they're doing well and Wolfenstein 2 and Doom i'm sure they they're going to do well uh-huh. and it only bodes good things for the future of like yeah. other of uh, you know, triple A titles coming to That's the true. Switch, so it is good to true. have options. You know? yeah, yeah, and I really dig it. So, didn't you say something too? Like the Switch is like the most uh, indie. Yeah, game so purchased I, I, I heard something. I haven't researched the fact. Um, well, but my I, apologies for bringing it up. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, it's just. But I, I heard through another podcast actually. Uh, but it's that the um, the indie games that are on Switch are selling more on Switch than like every other version combined for, for a lot the of those. The same like, games that are on the yeah, Switch library are being yeah, outsold like the, on yeah. the Switch. Yeah, specific. The, I got you. like all the like kind of third-party indie games. Sure, uh, sure, sure, sure. Which makes sense, because like personally, I could, I want to play Owlboy, right? I, yeah. I, I, I won't stop talking about that game. I want to play that. But they released, it was like Tokyo Game Show last year, they had announced that Owlboy will be coming to the Switch, and they're working on it now, but there's no release date. Right. I could very easily get the Mac version on my computer, but I won't. Because I'm, I'm yeah. going to wait until I mean, it comes on the Switch. This, it just is much more appealing of a system yeah. to play on. Well, the Switch is like the new Vita. I mean, it's just an, a Don't great that. indie That's machine. That's blasphemy. <laughs> Don't make well, no, it's, it's like <laughs> Just better. Know, it's like people out there, I mean, they still love their Vitas because it's a great indie machine. Yeah. And it's like the Switch can kind of take that spot now it's where true. it's just like, I mean, I, I think about like any kind of 2D side-scrolling game like, uh, you know, like Shovel Knight or Octopath Traveler or anything like mm-hmm. that. It's like, Dude, that's great for the Switch. It is. It's like I can play it on my TV or I can play it on the go. Super easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's, I mean, that's where I want to play those kind of games. Hell it's yeah! Like, and I'm, I'm hoping maybe one day I'll get like Towerfall on there. Oh, it's like I that even would be want a good like, one. Like, so good. Good. like Dragon Ball Z lot. Fighter. I, I want on there. So it's just I like, know. is it not coming to Switch? It's not not right now. Yet. Yeah, it they, will. Don't worry. I about. think it will. Yeah. yeah. It better. It's, like, it's perfect for this. Too, yeah. I think. It, so, Doom is coming out 2018 for the Switch. Uh, it's looking real good, so people who may not have a PS4 or Xbox and have missed it, or maybe they just want to take Doom on the go now, mm-hmm. you have that option. Come very soon. 
Uh, Evil Within 2 is getting the release date October 13th for the Xbox One uh, and One X, I believe, the PS4 and the PC. And it's not confirmed on the Switch, but he's already talking about possibly potentially wanting to port it. So we might see that in yeah. the next coming year or so. Mm -hmm. Moving on. So uh, this is actually going <laughs> back to another uh, thing that we talked about, like one of our early, early episodes. But the Duke controller from the, <laughs> oh, yeah. from the original Xbox big old has now thing. been, it's been confirmed a long time ago, right? But the prototype has now been uh, val validated by uh, Xbox. Like they're like, yes, that prototype looks great. Now we're about to make the production. <laughs> yes. We're about to make the Phil plastic Spencer molds. Just yeah. <laughs> Two oh, thumbs <laughs> up. <laughs> no, but Hyperkin is the one that is developing uh, the the controller itself, and they actually got Seamus Blackley, who was the uh, one of the original designers for the original Xbox. They brought him back to reamp, redesign, and kind of remaster the Duke controller. And, uh, I mean, it's got everything that you loved about the first controller, which is nothing apparently to you guys. <laughs> but to me, it, had, you know, it still has the bulky frame, like the big... Th I don't know why, but it just... This big fat thing in your it's, like, it's, it's just, cool. I like it. I like it. Just <laughs> felt it felt weighted. It felt like I was like, holy shit, I'm about to play a game. You know, like, it's like I'm playing Gears of War. I got my giant chain <laughs> gun. Yeah. Um, it's like weight training. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's the fucking shake weight of video game controllers. <laughs> Especially when it vibrates like, oh god. <laughs> But it has the big size. It has the the weird black and white buttons that are on the side too. Um, but now it's got a new LCD screen in the middle of the controller. Where so it's just Phil Spencer just giving <laughs> yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. You bought this controller. Yeah. <laughs> Pat on the back. But uh, so the, uh, Seamus Blackley, he actually tweeted a video of the controller itself. And when you turn on the controller, where it, ha it used to have in the middle that like insignia with the glass, and it had like the Xbox mm -hmm. logo, yeah, right? Like that eight foot by eight foot <laughs> yeah. Xbox the logo painting. <laughs> yeah. Now that is now an LCD screen. So when you boot up the X or the controller itself, it uh, goes through the same like opening title screen for the original Xbox. So it has like the hmm. lights and like That's the little cool. liquid, oh, nice. and then turns into like the Xbox logo, oh, nice which is like touch. a nice little callback yeah, to it. it. Is. And it's like. That's that's awesome. It's probably gonna drain the shit out of whatever I'm playing, like yeah, battery wise. Keep it plugged in. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna do. It. And they have a nine foot uh, cable for it. So oh, that's perfect. Jesus. Exactly. So you can play it like you know at your friend's house, but for, you know on a different yeah, TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can just go to the bathroom and just hope you're doing good. In the exactly. Game stuff. Oh, you just watch it. It's like the switch for the Xbox. You can just watch it on the LCD screen. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that has it doesn't have a price yet, but Microsoft has certified the whole thing, and I just think that's awesome. Like, I, I would love to have heard that phone call with, with Seamus Blackley. Yeah, that was yeah. Name. yeah, like, yeah. He gets this call, and they're like, "Oh, hey, Microsoft, what's up? Wait, you guys want that controller <laughs> back? You mean <laughs> who the, wants that? Yeah. <laughs> I knew okay. my day would come again. <laughs> Everybody laughed when they said nobody wants a twenty foot controller." <laughs> I say, ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> he opens up like his closet and it's like got his like original like developer like what he wore. He's like, it's time to don on the glasses. Again. <laughs> Montage ensues, and then there's the Duke controller remade. Yeah, so that's gonna be coming out shortly. And I, you know, honestly, wouldn't you guys be happy if they revitalized the the weird three legged sixty four controller? <laughs> you would. Well, it's the I'm... fucking weirdest design for yeah. a controller. But you're weird. not gonna lie, you buy that shit. Uh, yeah, well, when the 64 that. Classic comes out, you know, it's yeah. going to be a thing. So. I know. That's still <laughs> but like it's going to be the mini version? You're like, I yeah. don't know how to hold it now. It's too <laughs> tiny. <laughs> I, uh, man, man, I can't wait for that. <laughs> it's got like a wave of nostalgia hit me. I was like, I have to appreciate the 64, this for a second. The 64 oh, Classic? Man, man. Yeah. Who knows? That That's still, I mean, this is off topic and not what we we're going to bring up, but it's worth to say that like they did purchase and uh, get copyright yeah. for it's a, a slew of logos and one of them being you know the but two that we saw a, you know a company just all naturally does that it's, it's like, gonna, not just, shit on my dreams it's, like well, it's, just, <laughs> it's gonna happen dude. Yeah. it's gonna happen it's gonna so. happen it, it will it. although a, I would I would much rather just have those in 64 games on my on my switch but true but Conquer's Bad for a day is pri quite pricey and that shit better be on the classic anyways moving on. <laughs> no, I don't guys, think that one would. So some other news uh, that was teased this last week was uh, a little game called Red Dead 2 by a very Ooh, small production company called Cowboys? Rockstar. 
What? Cowboys? Cowboys, man. <laughs> Cowboys and Indians and running amok with those prostitutes and whiskey. Ooh. That's, I think that's what the game's like subtitle is. Yeah. Running amok with <laughs> prostitutes and whiskey. Uh, Red Dead they're 2. not Indians, they're Native Americans. That's just very true. Yeah. I'm sorry, I apologize. This is 2017. Thank I'm you. the asshole. Yeah, Thank but they you. probably <laughs> call them Indians in the game, so. Probably. Yeah. You know. Doesn't make it right. <laughs> yeah, dude. We, we gotta pa- stop passing the bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's stop here. <laughs> 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 no, but Rockstar uh, went out and tweeted this past week a very. Um, vague photo. It was just in the same design as like, you know, all the promotional photos and whatnot that they sell with it. The text was that white, the very like specific font for the game against a a red background. And all it said was motherfucking Cowboys. (laughs) Thursday. Cowboys. (laughs) And they're called Indian. Uh, They said Thursday, September 28th, 11 a.m., which is (laughs) today, viewers. You guys know what it is. This is a Thursday show. We just, we just watched it wow yeah. No, <laughs> yeah so i mean, we, I mean you can absolutely go and check our twitter we'll have all of the information for that up there right now so <laughs> you can go check that out on the show anyways but uh no so they tweet out a very vague uh just a date so we yeah. don't really know exactly what they're going to show if they're going to show gameplay or a release date because it did get pushed from uh this past fall or it was supposed to be this fall when it was releasing and now it got pushed to um no later than spring of 2018 yeah yeah and so maybe we're getting a release date. Maybe we're getting an announcement that's being ported to the Switch. That'd be awesome. Probably not. But uh, oh, that, that's just, high hopes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But, I know. Rockstar does this thing with like every one of their games, where it's just like they do just these like little baby teasers. Like every like six months, you know, it's just, like okay, like their first teaser is literally like okay, here's like just like a shot of like grass in yeah. a field. Okay, here's a shot of a couple trees. And everybody's like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Red Dead. It's like, and no, it's just our walking one. simulator. This is coming out next year. <laughs> so this will just be like another super vague t- tease, I'm sure. I don't think so, man. It'll... I think if they're like... T- I would be very pissed off if they teased a teaser. Like, well, that's just a, a, a slap in the face. It's what they do. It's, I don't think like, so, man. I think to, we're going to... Like, it used to be like with... Uh, like Well, actually, they still do it. Like, with GTA Five when they were still coming out with that, like, their teasers would just be like a single image of, like, a beach... <laughs> yeah, like it wouldn't even be a video. It's yeah. just like, yeah, here's your your one thing. For six it's months. like they're trying to like gauge the eyes, be like, you know, how would you feel if we just started making desktop backgrounds? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so, the, like whole just, method of figuring it out. Like Rock, Rockstar is just, I mean, they're in a league of their own, and they just that's true. They don't need to do anything. They could just be like, yeah, yeah Red Dead's coming, and everybody just freaks yeah, out. They like, lose their they, mind. they don't have to do anything else. I don't know, man. See, that's, I didn't think about it until you said it, but like, I don't want any company to feel like they have complete, like, control. You know, like, they should still have to work to impress us. Like, that's the whole point. That's the thing, though. I like, I like just, I I would rather just go in completely blind. Like, you know, Mario Odyssey, I already feel like I've seen too much. True. This is very true. I do feel the same way, but that's a, that's an extreme case of, like, way too much advertising and gameplay. That's what everybody does now. You know, movies, video games, it's like, hey. They just throw everything at you. That's true. That is true. I don't know about 20, we're going off topic, but Blade Runner 2049, <laughs> they're having like a, like a series of short films that are like happening before the movie comes out. Really? And one of them's being directed, fuck off. <laughs> one of them's being directed. It's too much. Huh? It's too, it's too much. much. No, it's like, it's not telling about the story it's itself, much. but it's talking about like the characters and stuff like that. So uh, one of them is being directed and animated by the director, um, Shintaro Watanabe, I can't ever say his name fast enough, but uh, he was the director of Samurai Champloo and Cowboy Bebop, and he's oh, doing... Oh, nice. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. That sounds okay, then. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be Crunchyroll, like, exclusive, so... But mm. 14 go- or 14 day trial. I, yeah. I just have it. Oh, there you go. You want to watch it? Let's watch it. Yeah. Movie night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not invited. Oh, well, that's you don't. Fine. You already just expressed. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Video games. Back to video, games. <laughs> video games. Yeah. So uh, the, the teaser. Going back to the teaser on Red Dead um, Two, I truly think that this is going to be something that's kind of going to drop a bomb on people. Uh, talking about like you know we haven't been confirmed what the main character or the plot is really of the second game, but I have a feeling that this teaser that's gonna that's you can watch right now um, <laughs> is gonna be James Marsden making a reappearance. John. That's what John. I said. You said James. I didn't say James. You said James. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> Jimmy Marsden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jim John Jerry Marsden. <laughs> no, but Jim I think the, he might make a reappearance. Uh, it's been speculated that the voice actor has, you know, kind of like been real hush hush about what he's been working on lately, and I have a feeling it might be Red Dead too. Uh, what do you guys? Because you guys were huge fans of the game. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I kind of just like pass it to you and see. A, what do you think that this trailer is going to drop? Like, what? 
potential stuff are they going to give you? I mm-hmm. guess you've kind of already answered that with your not much. Yeah, it's it's not going to be much. I mean, if if anything, like if they're like if they're going to say John Marston's back, it's going to be like his <laughs> vo- like his voice narration that's, over 15 seconds. That's exactly like what I was going to say. You know, it's not going to be like yeah. you're you're never you're not gonna see him. Yeah. It's it's gonna be like you'll see like the back of his head or something. Yeah. And then it'll be another another pan of a tree. And it's just like <laughs> it's with, with his like carving in it, like yeah. a heart and it's like John Marston. <laughs> yeah. John J-M. J-M. Yeah. yeah. I, I was thinking the same exact thing. If if it's gonna be because people are assuming it's a prequel, right? Like it's yeah. yeah. So his time in the gang, whatever gang, I forget what they were called. But like I it'll love be a game, I can tell. It'll be a VO <laughs> of him and then you'll just see like some mountain landscapes and maybe you'll see a gun holster or something. But like it won't be much. It's gonna be yeah. him saying, Oh, I chose this life or something dramatic. Yeah, and exactly. That's what it's gonna be. Right. Yeah. I think and I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the cards on the table. It's gonna be a trailer action packed. He's gonna come <laughs> out guns blazing and it's gonna be the soundtrack. The boys are back in town <laughs> And it's gonna be fucking crazy. Uh, well, Mark maybe. my words. Mark my word, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, well, you do have expertise you go big, you in go the home, We're going to put a bet on it? Yeah, let's do it. I bet All you right. a Duke controller. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want a Duke controller. <laughs> yeah. Well, then I'll keep it. <laughs> I don't even have an Xbox. I just want to hold it. Uh, so that's, you know, we have, like, again, we haven't really heard much from uh, since E3 with that last trailer, and they had some, like, art that was released prior to E3 in May. Since then, I've been really tight-lipped, so we'll have to see what happens. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing with Rockstar. Like, they take so much time to do their stuff. Like, you know, it's, all their games are good because they yeah. take so much time to develop it and they don't tell anybody anything. Yeah. So it's like when it drops, it's like, God damn, this is so good. Yeah. Like, you know, it's... Like, I think, God well, damn, I think because we're about to just get slammed with every game known to man over the next couple months. Yeah. So it's like, it would be, it would almost be kind of dumb for them to say too much at first. It's like, wait till, you know, the end of Christmas, like towards the beginning of January, just you know, just kind of like with uh, Nintendo and, and the Switch, like come January, just hit them with like all the info, hit and then the be like, tap. it's coming out in March. I'm gonna keep using that reference yeah. from that old Will Smith song. <laughs> <laughs> hit him with the drop top, and feel you when you with me. Ha ha ha! Don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I hope that's what they do. I mean, like, I'm I'm never one to like want so much information that I feel like I don't need to play the game now because I already know everything that happens. But mm-hmm. I also think that the way that they're handling the situation, I, might, I think might be more than than just like the narration and the panning of the landscape. So mm-hmm. we'll see you. that. Well, uh, I'll be waiting on my Duke controller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, so also what's happening right now is Tokyo Game Show. Actually, it already happened. Tokyo Game Show was the 21st September through the 24th. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what Tokyo Game Show is, uh, it's known more as the TGC <laughs> for those that are in the know. Uh, it's TGC? Happening. TGS. Trading, <laughs> Trading card <laughs> game? That's what I was thinking. That's what it came from. Tokyo Game Card. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it's happening right now. It, it happens every September annually uh, in Tokyo in the Chiba district. Uh, the average attendance is about 27,000. So it's very much akin to like Gamescom like that happened just last month over sure. in Cologne, uh, Germany. But, you know, like, they have a bunch of devs. It's a huge video game expo where there's going to be, like, different announcements and different devs, like, having their booths and whatnot. It's a whole experience. People cosplaying, getting all crazy and rowdy. Uh, The devs, though, that are there are Square Enix, Capcom, Bandai Namco, Sony, Sega, just to name a few. And a couple of the announcements that happened this year were, uh, well, Monster Hunter, this is not the one I was giving a weird face to. I'll tell you which one that is in a second. Okay. Uh, But Monster Hunter World, which is that open, uh, open world, like, Monster Hunter. Yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, right. It has a release date now. Uh, the Final Fantasy IX has been confirmed for PS4 release. Yeah, which uh, is already out. It is. Yeah, it's already out. Yeah, they they announced it and then, and then it came out the same day. Oh shit! Guardian of Friends playing. This is news to me. That's awesome. <laughs> so Final Fantasy IX, you can now play for PS4. <laughs> Uh, Square Enix, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Square Enix, uh, his new game, Left Alive, was announced, and it's getting a lot of buzz. It looks really, really good. And then another one that's kind of subpar, which is going to lead into our next topic, but Shadow is now a playable character in Sonic Forces. Who gives a shit? <laughs> so, All right. Yeah. Great. Yay. Yeah. Does character? he have a gun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But... Uh, Going more in the Sonic route, another interesting uh, topic. Oh, this was awesome. <laughs> and, yeah, another announcement was uh, given by the Sonic <laughs> so team over at Sega. Apparently, Sonic is teaming up with Hooters <laughs> of all franchises to promote Sonic Forces. Makes sense. Why? Next month <laughs> makes perfect sense. I don't know. Does it? Please yeah. elaborate Hedgehogs, on this. Owls, boobs. It all makes sense. 
The you know, I was alive. actually <laughs> almost convinced. I was like, wait, those two things don't go together. <laughs> Owls and hedgehogs you know, hate each other. No, you know kidding. how you can create a custom character in Sonic Forces? It could be a Hooters employee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would be so mad if you could actually, like, there's, like, clothing you can give your characters, and it's, like, the Hooters outfit. Actually, I don't know. I'd be kind that'd of be hilarious. Awesome. <laughs> like, so. I'm not thinking, like, that'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. I... Maybe maybe they're finally going to explain why like classic Sonic is kind of fat and chubby. He's just he just goes to Hooters he and eats chicken wings. Yeah, <laughs> that or why new Sonic is so skinny because of the you know body shaming that's happened. This might get <laughs> because in, of restaurants like Hooters. This also <laughs> might get in some weird like furry kind of thing like fan art yeah. furries like yeah. Amy yeah. the Hedgehog yeah. just slept like Hooters. Rule thirty six is that what it is? Rule thirty four. Rule thirty four. Rule thirty four. Man, yeah. that's what's happening. Big the cats in the back. Oh, <laughs> oh god, with his fucking face. That you took 17 hours to yeah. goddamn catch. I hate that character so, so much. Those games are so dumb. Why are they so dumb? Why would they? Have well, been it's cat? it's it's not that the games are dumb. It's that See, five. You're dumb. No, no, no. It's like five, five, yeah. six. That's the twist. <laughs> no, it, stop. It's like five sixth of the game is dumb. The one sixth that is Sonic. When you play as Sonic, it's not bad. It's everything else that like. Hey, you want to play as Big the Cat or a robot? Yeah. <laughs> or you know how you like going really, really fast. Okay, here's a big fat cat that can't yeah. move really at all. Yeah. And you really fish. Yeah. <laughs> and get this, you fish. The one six that you're talking about is just that song. Rolling yeah. around at this. That's the only thing that makes that game fun. Because you're like, this is the worst song, but it's so that's catchy. The, yeah, but that's the sequel. Like The mm. first Sonic DX, again, the Sonic part oh, isn't God. that bad. It's just oh, everything else yeah. that they're throwing in. It's like... How about you take all the care that you put in with all these stupid characters and you just make it Sonic? Right. And you not think about Hooters when you're making the game. Damn it, Cat. Yeah, I know. It's just like, stop Sorry. talking about Cat's Sonic. Cat's being crazy. It's Big Cat. He's like, I heard you talking about my boy. <laughs> it's my favorite character. Yeah. Well, the promotion and partnership with the Hooters starts next month. Jesus. Put starts- that cat. No. <laughs> starts next month, uh, but it's just basically being contained in the Hooters all over Tokyo. I don't know if that catches. Yeah. So, is there any more details? Like, there's no more details. So it's just Hooters and Sega <laughs> team are just like, "Hey guys, you want Sonic at Hooters?" Yeah, and everyone's like, yeah. "Maybe," <laughs> and they're like, no. oh, "Now so. you get it." Like, oh, okay. And a smattering of applause just happens. Like, <laughs> okay, hey, All right. everybody's just like. Oh. Come on, Sega, please. I would imagine... Please do one thing, right? So like, just trying to make their game sexy, because it's not a sexy game. <laughs> you know, like, like, so Hooters here in America is like, you go there and they watch, like, dudes watch sports there. I right. assume, right? So, like, maybe in the Hooters and Tokyo, they watch eSports. No, so I maybe get it. It's like, just like, they all I think... just have, you know, like, Dreamcast sitting around. Just <laughs> Actually, there's no chicken wings. It's the... just an ar- arcade. Oh, that sounds know? awesome, then. <laughs> <laughs> With women. Now, that, that actually wouldn't surprise me. I'm sure it's like a David Buster's, like, Hooter situation over yeah. there. No, I mean, I get it. It makes sense for no, it to it be in, in Tokyo. It doesn't make sense when oh, you bring yeah. it culturally to the West. Because, yeah. like, it's, it seems so weird, though. Yeah. It it's, still it's, does. It's so fucking I didn't, way out of left field. This, this made me learn that Hooters is a global company. Like, I thought it was just <laughs> an American thing. It also made me learn that Hooters is still around. Like, I was yeah. like, oh, fuck, I, I remember those. they were slowly dying out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had their food? It's not good. Yeah. You know, I used to like their chicken wings, but uh, that's, never why, that's never why I went. <laughs> it's not good. It's like I went there. I've been there a few times, and every time I was just very disappointed just like in the I mean, food I don't think and I, the service man yeah. every time i went there i'm getting off topic but yeah. the ladies that served us were like mad i was like you know why you're here like, you know why you're working here stop it you know why i'm here just let me enjoy this experience that fucking corporate america has yeah. shoved on our faces like i'm a 17 year old kid there for the first time like, you guys are terrible like oh, you waiter waitresses are just awful people you're mean like you're like writing a review yeah. with your scarf and your fucking glass like, like so far i give it one star so Help review. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, moving on from that random fucking uh, topic, but Sonic at Hooters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> another <laughs> another huge announcement that happened at Tokyo Game Show this year was uh, from a man, a big man on campus, Hideo Kojima. Hideo. 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 Ooh, huh? Hideo. 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 Hey man. Hideo. It depends on how, where, where you from. Sure. Where, why not? Where, where, what uh, slang you sling? You know what I'm saying? This is sure, Hideo. Hideo. Tomato. Tomato. Okay. Fucking... You tell him that. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> I will only respect him, bow, and say thank you, because <laughs> he is amazing. Anyways. Thanks, Hideo. Yeah. <laughs> Hideo Kojima. Uh, no, Kojima Productions uh, had an announcement, and they went on to talk about a little game uh, that has is just fucking steeped in mystery and, and vagueness and uh, yeah, not animosity. Every game of Kojima yeah. right. making. <laughs> Death Stranding. He went on to talk about that a little bit. Now, it's it's 
good to point out that this is Kojima Productions' first official game that they're independently developing, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big deal uh, because he's always been with Konami in the past, and yep. he's had uh, Kojima Productions as a subsidiary, you know, doing uh, like the more the portable games for the Metal Gear Solid franchise, yep. and, like Zone of the Enders and shit like that. That wasn't the big, big, big titles. Um, so now they're really taking this on, and uh, before we get into what he actually expressed with the game um, in, in terms of like content and what his ideas came about, he did go on to say that, quote, we want to prove that indie studios can produce AAA world-class master <laughs> masterpieces, yeah. which I think is funny because we've already seen that. Like It yeah, just yeah. begs the comparison with Hellblade, yeah. Senua's Sacrifice. Yeah. That game was fucking amazing, yeah. and it was an independent developer, which was Team Ninja. Yes, I got it right this time. <laughs> I always sing Ninja Theory. Yeah. Fucking, mm, you're watching an evolution. Uh, but uh, so they're kind of, they're going on to say that, and the game looks amazing. They have like High Town. They've got uh, Mads Nicholson as what appears to be the the prote or antagonist. Yeah. And then we have uh, Norman Reedus as the antagonist, who's Holding. kind of coming back over from the uh, canceled um, holding PT. a baby, holding that baby. Yep. Yeah, holding. It's actually him. They, this game has been in production for a long time, so they used his baby. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they filmed him as a baby. They did a mocap with that. his ba as him as a baby. Yeah. Yeah. They've been sitting on this project for a wow. long time. <laughs> Just Norman Reedus, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but also, so going back, going into what they announced. So we got two trailers thus far. They didn't release another trailer. What they released at Tokyo Game Show was a new promotional art uh, title photo. Mm -hmm. Which basically shows Death Stranding and like what we once perceived as like liquid seeping from the letters. He actually went and said like, no, you're wrong. It's like strands. It's tethers. Death Stranding. Like it's everything is kind of kind of based around the idea of like the world uh, is interconnected with these strands and like that's what the, you know the definition of strand is. But also, he went on to say that the title, uh, what what gave him the inspiration for the title Death Stranding and what it kind of means to him, is uh, that's it's about whales and dolphins. Let me elaborate. <laughs> you don't have to. Yes. You just say whales, dolphins, Kojima. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that sure. makes sense. Norman Reedus. <laughs> like, all right. Babies. Whales. <laughs> Norman Reedus has a baby. <laughs> With uh, a whale. <laughs> yeah, no, but when a whale or a dolphin gets beached onto land um, and they're alive, it's called live stranding. Uh, when they die on a beach, it's called Death Stranding. Okay. So he kind of got that idea and went with it, and it gave him uh, the, this idea for the title as well as for the game. And what he's saying, and I quote this, he goes, the title is about something from another world stranded on our own world, which is kind of giving us an insight to what the gameplay is going to be about. Which when you see the two trailers that have come out thus far, they're random as hell, and you don't know what's going on, but it definitely yeah. seems like there's some kind of invasion taking place. Yeah. And there's like an underground resistance. That's when we see Guillermo del Toro kind of make an appearance yeah. as uh, with a baby, with a, with Norman <laughs> Reedus as a baby, um, baby Reedus, yeah, baby, baby, baby Reedus, the wee baby Reedus. <laughs> <laughs> but he was in the game, which is funny because you know they were in uh, a co-directorial kind of partnership with PT, which was the uh, teaser for the Silent Hills game that was yeah. canceled by Konami, and I think what inevitably led uh, to Kojima's uh, dis disbanding with yeah. that company. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, Game of the Toro went on to say that he's not creatively involved with the game. He's just a play like, no, I don't know if he's a playable character, but he's a character in the game. Sure. Kojima was like, yo, bud, you want to be a mocap? And <laughs> Come he's like, on hell over. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it's like, as of right now, it's like that game's not coming out to at least 2020. And it's like, that game no. could be absolutely, it's true. It's, yeah. Kojima takes 40 years to make a single game. <laughs> and if you, you know how long, to be his, masterpiece, how long his cutscenes are, that's how long he takes yeah. to make a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, like, my PS3 is still running the, the fucking Guns of the Patriots right now. Yeah. Going through one fucking cinematic. Um, now, so he went on, this is the more technical aspects about the game. So he kind of confirmed the genre. It's going to be an action game uh, with an open world environment and we'll have multi or online co op, which is, uh, I think, mm -hmm. new. They, did they have online co op for uh, five? Bent to uh, Pain? Metal Gear 5? Well, online co-op, not as... Well, yes and no. It, there was an online mechanic to it where it's like you could go to like your friend's base, base and, and do some stuff. And it's like... So there were there were online mechanics to it, but right. you couldn't jump into like a main mission of the game with somebody else and Got it. do it. Well, he's he's like, fuck that noise. You can do it now. So he's, he's introduced that. He's also said that it's going to be able to run 4K and HDR. So it'll be, you know, P, uh, PS4 Pro and Xbox One X friendly. And then he... Uh, uh, well, by the no. time it comes no. out, P it might be... Just PS4. It's, it's being produced by Sony. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's just PS4 Pro. That's right. Um, sorry, Xbox. Bummer. It's another... You got the Duke controller. <laughs> you know, and also, you got Cuphead. So, like, stop complaining. <laughs> I fucking love that game. But, uh, 
But yeah, that's pretty much all we really know about the game thus far. We've just seen a lot of like trailers that don't ex explain much. I'm, it I'm never excited. Will. <laughs> I, you're right, because it the, does look cool though. So I mean, hmm? Like it does look cool. Like one of my favorite parts was the part where uh, Mads Mickelson or is it yes. Nicholson or Ma Mickelson? It's Nicholson. It's Nicholson. Yeah. like Jack Nicholson. Yes. Okay. When he comes I'm out with myself now, <laughs> when he comes out with his soldiers, like as they come into the light, like they're skeletons, like mm -hmm. they're dead, and I'm just like, that's kind of cool. And, they, and then as they walk away, he's got little strands yeah. that are going towards them. So I mean, it's like connected, like umbilical cord almost. I think that's where like the baby yeah, injury kind of comes into play too. It's yeah. like he's definitely using the umbilical cord situation. And, and the baby that Del Toro is holding has an umbilical cord connected to whatever thing that's holding right, the like baby right like an electronic in. like yeah like pack onto himself test tube baby or something test I don't know. tube baby i don't know <laughs> it's really weird but it looks pretty interesting like the world looks cool because it's like destroyed and i don't know it doesn't make any sense but it just looks interesting it never will no it won't and <laughs> by the time it, that game like i don't know what's happening yeah. right now by the time it comes <laughs> out it'll be like yeah. next gen as well so yeah it's well like, they are talking about it gonna be yeah. a next gen game it's, that's so. a ps5 game for sure <sighs> Man, I just really want to play it because, like, that's one thing. I, I, <laughs> you, you don't. Man, fuck oh. the PS5. <laughs> yeah. um, no, like, the one thing about him as a developer and as a storyteller, like, his his ideas are radical in terms yeah. of like the way that he the characters he brings in, like. But for some reason, that suspension of uh, belief is never broken in his games. Like it all seems like it makes sense. Like when you it, have, yeah, it uh, makes sense within the world that he's developed. Right, yeah. which that's is like a thing. hard it's thing like, to do when you in introduce elements like that yeah. or, or characters in that way. So that's why Metal Gear has always been such a fascinating series to me because it combines like this, this, uh, you know, tactical, you know, very tactical espionage, like serious game mixed with like. Really goofy yeah. fart jokes and nonsense <laughs> mixed with like hiding in a box, you know, box, you know? <laughs> hiding in a box yeah. mixed with like weird vampire people and yeah. chicks with boobs that shouldn't be that big. And giant well, that's, robot that's not really that's just, that's just, that's just video game it's culture. Just, and it, it somehow he meshes it all together into something that makes sense for the weird world that Kojima has yeah. created, right? And it's just it's so good. It's I don't know how he gets away with it. It's you know, I, I feel like he's kind of the uh. Uh, uh, what's it called? What, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, a tour? What? He's good. <laughs> what? He's, Wait, he's good. No, like, what do you is mean? Is that the word? Uh, Come on, uh, describe sorry. it. The this director, is the game. <laughs> director of Inglorious Bastards. Oh, Tarantino. Uh, Tarantino. Tarantino. It's, he feels like the Tarantino of, like, like video games, where it's just, like, his, okay. you know, you think about something yeah. like, uh... Weird, very weird uh, worlds. Yeah, like these like weird Kill Bill. worlds where, uh... Uh, well, I feel like that one's kind of the oddball out, where it's just like the only kind of well, it's fine. Well, that's a whole other. He's just trip, offended like, out of <laughs> I love Kill Bill. Like, he's like, like running around with a samurai sword. Out, like Django and Chain and how serious that was. But then there's things like he'll shoot somebody and they go flying across the room. Right. It's yeah. like, but within that world he's created, it makes sense. So hmm. it's like I feel like uh, Kojima's kind of like that in a lot of ways. Well, all Tarantino movies are in the same universe. Sorry, just saying. Okay. Yeah, Go on. I also think that their his partnership with Guillermo del Toro makes a lot of sense too. But you know, we're gonna definitely be like continuing to research and you know be on our on the edge of our seat for any new content and, and new um, news that comes out with Death Stranding. It looks fucking phenomenal and actually I would kind of like to go and have like a bonus round one of these days about just Kojima games in general and just yeah. how he can make those weird elements mesh well and work together very well so stick around for that um but uh before we before we end the show uh we have a lot to look forward to in the next couple of weeks i mean yeah. october is a big fucking deal yeah a lot of things are happening uh just right from the get-go i know you guys are getting your snes classics the day of but <laughs> i <laughs> thanks <laughs> but uh, i got i was i was in the second <laughs> i was in the <laughs> this. this is stupid <laughs> and he's gone yeah no i uh I got my my reser my reservation. What's it called? My pre order uh, uh -huh. on the second <laughs> round of you know after like that first initial round was, was wiped out. I got mine on the second round, so I'm actually getting my SNES Classic on October 5th. That's when it's arriving. So that's and big. It's coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. It was Man, a two, trap. Two to play it at once. So be I will be so mad if you open it. Place. Don't do that. That's my fucking thing. So I take it out. I'm gonna poop in that box. So I'll give you that box. <laughs> If it's, not, if it's not a guarantee on the box, it's up. Sorry, this is another. Anyway, so yeah, uh, SNES Classic is coming out. People are going to be, we're going to be talking about that as well. Uh, Battlefront 2 is having a beta. 
Uh, first, it's going to be an early access for those who pre-order it on October 4th, and then two days later, there will be a public beta open to everybody uh, on the 6th, and it goes until the 9th. So we're definitely playing that. Yeah. That's going to be fucking awesome, and hopefully it won't... I know, I know. Battlefield? Or Front, Battlefront. Oh, Battlefront. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I thought you said Battlefield, sorry. I might have. Battlefront, too. That's what I meant. Okay. Star yeah. Wars, man. Uh, Battlefield Front. Battlefield Front. I mean, Star Wars the, edition. It's the same thing. Battlefield it's just, Front One. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. Infinity War. Uh, <laughs> um, but the two the two game types that are going to be coming on that is uh, Naboo. Uh, you're going to be on the planet Naboo uh, in Feed in a Galactic Assault, which you you know we've already talked about this on a previous show. But essentially, you can either play as the clones or you can play as the uh, other ones. And you have, the uh, robots, the yeah, non clones, the, the public robots, right? Is that the guy? There's the resistance. Robots. The robots. droids. Droids. Thank you, Republic droids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Robots? <laughs> I said it correctly the first time. You get to play those on either team, and you're either storming feed or you are defending it. It's supposed to be a huge, huge, huge thing. Uh, can, you know, you have like your spaceships, you have all your different characters involved. You have your heroes that come yeah. in. It's I, saw, I saw it at uh, E3. It looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also at E3, or Gamescom, they announced that the, another mode that's going to be introduced into the beta is the Starfighter Assault Battle, which is going to be like where you can start to pilot in these like huge um, space dogfights. You get to pilot like. All the really classic, awesome ships that you love. Like, I think the Millennium Falcon is one of them that you can actually Ooh. pilot and fuck people up with. That's cool. Kill them quicker than you did the fucking I want castle a run. Yeah, <laughs> a biplane. A battlefield front one. Yeah. <laughs> Other things that are coming out in October Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, is being released on October 27th for oh. the. I know, I know. Well, we're going to talk about it. And actually, it looks a lot better. Plus, your girl is in the game. From uh, your film that you guys did recently. No, that's not her. That is her. I looked it up. No, it's Deborah not Deborah Wilson. It's not her. What are you talking about? It's not her. I IMDb'd it last night to confirm. And she has both credits in WTF, the film that you did, and in... Nuh-uh. Yes. Nuh-uh. You gonna, have to contact her. You're on the, the show. Interwebs. It's somebody else. It's I, I fucking... <laughs> oh my God. I'm about to like look... Yeah, thank you. There you go. Yeah. Look it Bring up. up that thing. You but... keep talking. Yeah, so... <laughs> Deborah Wilson is one of like the she's a main character it seems like one of like your companion characters and she's got a badass fro and she's super sassy and it yeah. looks badass like the whole tone of the of the trailer that was released is you just didn't play through the first one I know I'll give it another try I'll give it another try the, the second one definitely makes me want to go back and play the first one so that's being released on October 27th for PS4 and Xbox um, and it'll be on the Switch in 2018 along with Doom also coming out on October 27th is Assassin's Creed Origins. Not really looking forward to it, but a lot of people are. Hopefully it'll break the mold. Boom. Fuck you. It's Deborah, Deborah Wilson? Wilson right there. Yeah, she was in, she was in Wolfenstein too, dude. Yeah. yeah I, could, I looked it up and I thought it was somebody else. Well, it's her, dude. You're wrong. It's wow. absolutely her. That's, were you thinking of that or her? That's a guy. No, that's that a guy? No. Oh, I couldn't see. No, see, that's the, that's the person playing her. Yeah, that's well, she's her. right there, dude. Her name is right there. And the she? character's name is right next Grace to Grace Walker. Yeah. Right. See, there you go. Damn. You should get in contact and be like, what? You're in my favorite game <laughs> series? That's amazing. Well, I thought it was her, and then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, it must be this other chick. Well, that's because you can't read. If you knew how to read, it'd be fine. True. <laughs> uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed is getting, uh, it's, it's getting released. Hopefully, that'll be better than the, the last 75 iterations of Assassin's Creed, but who knows, and it probably won't be. But I played uh, it at E3. It's the same. It's the more yeah. the same stuff, dude, except <laughs> no. you're in Egypt. <laughs> Except that's, in Egypt. It's more sand. The only thing, but besides that, uh, you know, if you, if you play that game and it gives you a bad taste in your mouth, well, you can cleanse the palate with Super Mario motherfucking Odyssey coming oh, out yeah. on October 27th on the same day. Oh boy, I'm excited for that. <laughs> God. The Odyssey sweats. I know, we've seen out. a lot, but I still think that if Nintendo is willing to show that much of the game, that there is so much content yeah. that we are going to be able to experience I've, for ourselves. I've like actively avoided everything. Like, same all here. I know is the level that we played at E3, and shirtless Mario. That's all I've seen. <laughs> and that's all you need to know. And that's all, yeah. That's, that's enough to sell the game right I'm not going to watch any more. not going to look at anything else. I'm going to avoid every review and stuff. Because yeah. I don't want to know anything. I don't know what Cappy can do. Like, I just, that, I don't need to know anything. So. <laughs> Man. Well, we will definitely be getting that game, I think, yeah. at, at this, like, simultaneously. Yeah. Playing yeah. the shit out of that and talking about it here on the show as well. Because yeah. how can we not? Oh, yeah. So... That's what happens in October. I'm sure there's a whole other thing, a lot of things that are uh, happening as well, other releases, but those are the main topics, the main Halloween. big ones. Hmm? Halloween happens. Halloween happens. That's I'm true. sure that Overwatch is going to have new skins as yeah. well and hey, a new ooh. map and all that good stuff. Good so time, good time. Excited for that as well. And we'll be talking about more things as they develop in October. Obviously, that's yeah. what you're here for. But guys, <laughs> thank you for watching the show. 
Appreciate you guys sticking with us and learning all about the things that you love and that we love, and that is video games. Guys, we'd like to give a special shout out to DJ Cutman who gave us that awesome chip tune music at the very beginning of the show. And guys, if you want to see more content or hear or look at all the links that we've talked about today on the subjects, you can also check those out at our Twitter at Go Multiplayer as well as our Instagram at Go Multiplayer as well. You can follow me at my personal, which is at Guillermo Dorado for Instagram, and then for Twitter, it's Mas Dorado. And you can follow Zach here at Zach Mascanis, Z A C K M A T Z G A N I S. Whoa, that was a fast it's a one. Parcel tone. Man, it's a parcel tone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Didn't know you'd bring that re reference in yeah, here. You know. Get the fuck out. No, I'm <laughs> and you, where can I'm they find you, Hav? Uh, here. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Multiplayer Hav. Just Multiplayer and then J A V. And I'm on Twitter. That's it. Boom. Anywhere else. There you go. We also have our two camera and audio guys who are our resident PC gamers. As Well, one's PC, one's Xbox, so they're going to be having their own show very shortly talking about those things as well. I know, guys. We hear you. We talk about Nintendo a lot, but it's because it's in our hearts. That's why we got these guys to fill in the gaps with other things that we're it's not really talking about. also just been killing it. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. This is true. You can find uh, Nathan, our resident PC gamer, at MultiplayerNath on Twitter, and you can also find Mick Wood, our resident Xbox gamer, at his Instagram. Do you have a Twitter, too? Both the same thing? Sweet. <laughs> At Nick to the Wood. You can find him there. Guys, thank you so much for checking us out, and be sure to check out uh, next week. So, yeah. keep grinding, and we'll see you at the respawn. Later. And you know what else? What? We love you. Oh. Oh. On behalf of Multiplayer, Mario would like to send a special thank you to Jaden Lawrence, Arturo Mendera, Merchadan Kroll Pitaru, and Mario Dorado. Thank you so much for watching. Ah!